Hi, welcome back. Today's lesson is called Sorting and Graphing Shapes by Name. Today you will name and sort shapes and practice reading graphs. Are you ready? Let's go. First, we're gonna warm up by counting again. This time we're gonna count backwards. Yesterday we counted from one to 20 and then 20 backwards to one. We're going to start on the number 18 and count backwards to one. So instead of 20, we're going to start at the number 18. Ready? Count with me. 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, yes, you did it, great job. Remember, counting is just a pattern. So it doesn't matter if we start on 20 and go backwards or start on 18 and go backwards, we still say the numbers in the same order. Today we're going to take a look again at our 2D shape cards. Remember, we know that 2D shapes are flat, flat, flat. And I see a circle and a triangle and a rectangle. And I know that all of those are flat 2D shapes. Well, yesterday we talked about sorting shapes by how they were the same. Today we're going to do the same thing. But this time we're going to create a graph. A graph is a special piece of information that helps us know very quickly how much we have of something. So for example, if I look at this shape graph, I can see that the circles and the triangle towers are a lot taller than these middle two towers. And really quick, I can see, oh, I had the most circles and triangles. Well, today we're going to practice reading a graph and we're going to practice using our math words greater than and less than. Let's go. First on our graph, we have some circles. Do you see how all of the circles are in one column? They're in one tower. Good. What shape is in the next column? Uh-huh, squares. There's our squares. They're all in one column together. That's what helps us read a graph so quickly. The next one, oof, what shape is that? Uh-huh, rectangles. There's our rectangle. They're all in the same tower or the same column. And that last column, what shape is that? Triangles, very good. There's our four shapes. We looked at some of those yesterday. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to cover a part of our graph and right now we're going to focus on the circles. Before we start counting the number of circles we have, there's something I want you to notice. If you look back at this graph, at the bottom, each shape down here was kind of a purple color. These shapes are here so we know where to put each shape. These are a part of the graph. These are labels and they label our graph so we know where to put the shapes. So when we're counting how many shapes we have, we're not going to count the labels. We will count all of the other shapes that are red, yellow, and blue, the ones we've been using this week. So let's take a look at the circle column. Let's start up here at the top. And the first thing we're going to count are the large uh, circles, any large circles we see. Are you ready? Remember, are we going to count the purple one? No, that's a graph label, so we don't count it. All right, starting from the top. Any large circles we see, ready? One, not a large circle, not a large circle, two, yeah, I saw two large circles. So we're going to add the number two, there he is. Now let's count the small circles, ready? Starting at the top. 
small circle. One, two, not a small circle. How many small circles did we see? We also saw two small circles? Great, let's add these numbers together. Do you know two plus two equals hmm, four? Very good. We have four circles in our shape graph. Excellent. Now we're going to look at the next column. These are the squares. Remember, we're not going to count the purple square. That is a label for our graph. So we had four circles in the first column, and now we're going to count squares. Let's start from the top and count the big squares first. Ready? One, two, not a big square. How many big squares did you see? Me too, I saw two big squares. Now let's go back and count how many small squares we saw. Ready? Not a small square. Not a small square. <gasps> One. How many small squares did we see? Yep, just one. Let's add those numbers together. What is two plus one equal? Two plus one equals three. We have three squares. Excellent. Now we're going to jump to the next column and look at our rectangles. So, so far we have four circles and three squares. Let's start by counting the big rectangles. Without my help, can you see how many big rectangles we have here? Remember, we're not counting the purple one. That's a label for our graph. Wait, how many did you see? You saw one big rectangle right here? Excellent. Now let's go back and count how many small rectangles we had. Can you see? Just one right here. Great job. One plus one equals two. Excellent. We have two rectangles in our graph. Now we're going to come all the way to the end and work on our last column, our triangle. Remember, we're not counting the purple triangle because that is a label for our graph. But we found out that we have two rectangles and now we're working on our triangles. I'm gonna give you a second. See if you can count all by yourself how many big triangles you see. How many did you see? Two? Two big triangles? Yes, one right here and one right here. Excellent. How many small triangles did you see? Two? One right here and one right here? Yes, two plus two equals Four, very good. We had four triangles. Let's look at all the numbers we found out. Four circles, three squares, two rectangles, and four triangles. Ooh. Remember, a graph can show us quickly what information we have. Do you see any towers that had the same number? You see some? Which shapes did we have the same number of? Good, we had four circles 
and four triangles. We both have four, four and four. Can you quickly see what shape did we have the least of? Yes, the rectangles. We only had two rectangles, and two was the smallest number that we had. So we would say that's what we have least of. Because the circles and triangles have the same number, we would still say that that was the number that we had the greatest of. Excellent. Great job practicing reading our shape graph today.